Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Thank you. Uh, I use acrylics most of the time. Uh, this is a 3 inch brush, a 2 inch brush, and a 1.5 inch brush. I'll be using the 3 inch brush today to show you the many things you can create with such a brush. First of all, we can create the background rather quickly. You save a lot of time and it's quite effective. As you can see here, I'm creating the sky. I'm holding the brush sideways. And now I go back and forth to start blending the color. And speaking of blending, I think I will create a sunset. So I'll go ahead and add some violet here and blend this violet with the blue. In order to blend these two colors, I have to dry the brush, make sure it's dry. And then, with a dry brush, I go ahead between the, where the two colors meet, and using the brush sideways, I start blending the two colors. This is important to create a realistic sunset. The purple allows me to apply the yellow without touching the blue, because if it did touch the blue, it would turn into green, and we know that we do not have green skies. I do the same thing here. I blend the colors together. The blending is always done with the eye, with the dry brush. I add some white now to lighten the yellow and to do some of the blending to create a lighter sunset. Yeah, I'm going to show you how with the same brush I can go ahead and add a, sea, a seascape. I'm just working the horizon, the horizon here to separate the sky from the water. As I go down, the blue gets lighter. This could be, at this point, an ocean. And I'm adding, with the same brush, I'm adding the sand. I think I'll try a landscape instead of a seascape. So I'll go ahead and apply some brown to create the landscape. And you see how easily when you're using acrylic how easy it is to go over a previous color once it dries. Keep in mind that I'm still using that 3 inch brush. I have not touched any other brush.
now using the same brush I'm tapping with one hand, either the left hand or the right side of the brush to create trees or, or bushes. Notice the way I'm holding the brush and I'm using the, the tip of the brush to create trees in the distance. I'm now applying a lighter green again with the tip of the brush. And I do this by tapping, tapping very lightly, creating texture. And a little by tapping. Holding the brush straight, I can create a little bit of grass. You can already see how much I have accomplished in a very short time. So here you can see how we create the land using the same brush. I'm applying a darker green here in the bottom. In order to show you how to create reflections in the water, I'm going to change the land into water and then create the reflections. But first I have to have the water with the various colors that I applied in the sky to show how the water picks up the colors in the sky. Again, I have to blend the colors together using the same technique that I used when I blend the, the colors in the sky. Again, by holding the brush sideways and going between the two different colors, it blends, it blends in, into a unified water.
with the tip of the brush and the way I'm holding the brush I am adding green into the water to start creating the reflections of the trees in the water. Now I pull down, holding the brush the way I'm holding it, pull down very softly, very lightly. You don't want to do it hard and just slightly pull it to the same, more or less the same uh, length of the trees and then using the brush sideways end up creating the reflection. And while I'm at it, I'll go ahead and add a little more green, a darker green, and do the same process all over again. Improve the reflection in the water. Keep in mind that we have done all this so far with the same brush. We have not changed brush at any time. Now holding the brush sideways and tapping lightly, I can create grass. Just tap, tap very lightly and making sure that some of the green, the light green that was there shows. So as you can see so far we have done the sky, the bushes, the water, the reflection in the water, the grass, and I can show you a few more things that we can do with the same brush. I just did this by just tapping, tapping very lightly. To improve the look of the land. I'm adding the highlights by using a very light, very, very light gray. Adding yellow to it and that creates the, the light from the sun on the bushes hitting the bushes I'm adding white here to create the illusion of flowers on the left side, white flowers. Oh, I might change the color to pink by adding a little bit of red, which I think I will. And you can see how I'm tapping very lightly, tap, tap, without covering, trying not to cover the green that's underneath. So it gives the illusion of flowers there. And 
Notice, tap very lightly to get a real nice impression of, of flowers. On the right side here, again doing the same thing, tapping with the tip of the brush and tapping very lightly, I'm going to create red flowers. Since the paint was still wet when I put the white, I allowed it to dry and now I'm retapping with white paint. And I'm adding a little bit of red to change it into pink flowers on the left and red flowers on the right. I add a little bit of white just to create reflections of the sun. You, you, you have seen now how much we can do with a cheap brush or inexpensive brush. Uh, the next, uh, I think what I'll do is I'll create a part two showing you how to continue this painting using an angle brush and or a palette knife. If you have enjoyed this, Please subscribe. Thank you. Well, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, don't forget to subscribe. Thank you.